Hey guys, quick voiceover here at the beginning of the video. Thanks for coming out to the channel. As we are having problems with one of our animals, which is uh, one of the reasons we're having to move some quail into the chicken tractor that you're looking at here. You'll hear us talking about it at the end of the video. Listen to what we're planning on doing and see if you can give us some suggestions otherwise. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. We'd love y'all. All right, guys, so we're sitting on top of the current quail pen. I just wanted to show you this, of course, is a female quail. I'm gonna show you why we're moving them here in a minute, but this is a female quail. See, the chest is bejeweled, is what I call it. See all the black speckles? We're gonna move the females. Our ratio in this cage is too high, male to female. I'll show you how we can tell. All right, here's another female. You see this, Nathan, on the back of the head? Yeah, I saw that. That's, That's one doing. of the ways you can tell your ratio is too high. It's a normal thing for the males, obviously, to mate, but when you've got your ratio, you want to have no more than four to one, four females to one male. And you see on the back of this one's head, all the feathers are pulled out. So we've got our ratio too high in here. And these are just now coming of age. So, so you've got this one here, been pulled out a little bit, not much. You can see the bejeweled chest. So we're gonna move the females into the other into the other chicken tractor. Most of my quail are either at my neighbor's house down the road, or unfortunately we had a raccoon get in, took out about ripped. Uh, Let's just say it showed a vulnerability in my cage. My fault, inevitably, even though the raccoon got it, raccoon's doing its normal thing, but I lost about, we lost about 30 quail that night. Come here, baby. We're actually gonna make it better for you. You want this net right here? Short one. Yeah. All right, guys, so to show you something interesting if I happen to pull the right one out of here. Oh, uh, this is just your male. He's fine. We want to take a couple male, so we'll take him. All right, here it is. Males, if you have too many males, the males can also be picked on, bullied, and look at the back of the head of this male. Now, they can be picked on by the females or they can be picked on by the other males. In this particular case, because there's so many females with bald heads, uh, chances are they were picked on by other males. This one was picked on by another male. If we take the females out of this cage, the pheromones will slow down a little bit and the other males Three. probably won't fight each other. Three, okay, well then put this one back in there and I'll take him. Put what one? He's been getting picked on. Put him in there. Yeah, if you want to give him a chance. Okay, yeah. there you go, fella. Nathan, Uncle Nathan taking care of you, pal. He's been <laughs> getting picked on. <laughs> All right, here's a female. You can see the back of her head. This is a female. She's done okay. She must be a she must be a hoss. But she's not too bad. We're gonna need at least one more male in here, I'm sure, so we can put him in here. We ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven males left in here. And we'll go over here and We've got three males in with the females. We're fixing to let them all loose so we can get a final count. And I'll tell you what's happened to all of our quail because it's not, not just what I mentioned a minute ago. All right, so let's let them loose. We've got three males we know. Maybe we're gonna try to count them as they come out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, that's it, 16. All right, so 16 minus 3 is 13. So three males, 13 females, that gives us a 4 to 1 ratio plus 1. So we're fine on our ratio. Now they ain't going to know what to do themselves with all the room in here, but they'll enjoy it. Nathan, while he's in there, is going to inspect the pen real good. Nathan, I'd like for you to try to crawl through the bottom. Get down on your belly. Can you do that, son? You can see light, but there's a stick back there to keep him from getting in. Can you get down on your belly, though, and try to crawl through? Huh? Don't let him get in there. 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 Don't let him
the, the viewers, the viewers want to see that. The cat will do it though. The yeah, the cat, the cat, the cat will find it if there's a hole. Just go ahead first, see if you can get out, okay? That, that quail looks like you just got a new life. Thank God. Is that the male? I think so. Yeah. I think the male has been picked on so much. Yeah, he's he's gonna be happy. That one male, because he's small too. That, that one male we brought over here, that Nathan, you, as you saw on video, Nathan felt <laughs> sorry for him. Said, "Uh-uh, put him over there. He's had a hard life. He was small and he's been picked on. So we'll see how he does." Hey guys, so the uh, told you I was gonna tell you a couple things about what was happening to the quail that uh, we hadn't mentioned yet. Guys, y'all seen Benji in our videos. We love Benji a lot. Benji's our Vizsla. It's actually Nathan's dog. And um, we love Benji a lot. Benji has one problem, and that's uh, livestock. Benji doesn't do well around livestock, and uh, we didn't necessarily know this until, what, about three weeks ago? About three weeks ago or so. We did have a raccoon that got into one of our quail cages and uh, ripped the door off. The door was already damaged. Um, like I mentioned, and calls all the quail once the door was gone. Obviously, I'm assuming the raccoon got his fill and left to go down to the creek to wash it off, and the rest of the quail got out and was just anybody's game. We got a lot of cats around here as well, but um, we lost probably 25 or so then. And um, But about three weeks, three weeks ago or so, um, Benji got our big quail cage. And Vizslas are very strong dogs. You, you, they don't look like it when you look at them, but they're all muscle, kind of like a Duroc pig is all muscle. Of course, Duroc pigs are a lot bigger, but Vizslas are very strong. And uh, something that got a hold of my bigger quail pen and pulled it away from the shop. Um, there was a damaged board on the bottom of that bigger quail pen, and I had it pushed up against the shop. We've never had a predator issue up here around the house. The shop's real close to the house. Something had gotten a hold of the hog wire, and you could tell where they had bitten and grabbed and pulled a lot of pulling action to get it away. And then with a the damaged board that had been pushed up against the shop, they were able to get inside the quail pen there. And um, I think we ended up having, what, 28, 29? And um, a little over half of them that were in that pen. There was about 50 of them in that pen. And none of them were eating. They weren't really missing. They just um, killed. killed, dead. Killed. None of them were eating. So that tells you, yeah, it tells you it wasn't, a, that told us there it wasn't a, wasn't a raccoon or anything that wanted to eat them. You know, we noticed a couple of dead chickens around in a few days before that and didn't really think a whole lot about it. Sometimes our chickens get out of the pen, but when, uh, and uh, started looking around trying to figure out what's going on because we've got quail carnage everywhere and my pen sideways and most of the other quail had gotten out. We couldn't find all of them. Benji started cowering big time. He was with us, he started cowering um, big time. You could tell it was him that had done it. Uh, he knew, let us know exactly it was him that had done it. And yeah, we, Nathan went and looked at him real close and he had feathers in his mouth. So um, then proceeded about a week, a week later, we got a call from our neighbors that uh, he had gone over and killed several of their free range chickens. Or are they in a pen now? They were in a pen. He killed several of them and then uh, we put Benji up, kept him confined by accident of someone here in the house. Uh, he got out, went back over and finished off the rest of the neighbor's chickens. Now he's gotta go. Do I? Now we gotta do something with Yeah, so now, now he's gotta go. Uh, we love Benji to death. Everything is perfect about him as far as people, kids, he loves our kids, he loves us, he loves the grandkids, he's very protective of the grandkids. Doesn't work out here on the farm. So we've gotta replace the neighbor's chickens. And Nathan said he's gonna do that. And, we're gonna find a home for Benji. He doesn't need a whole lot of room to run. He's gotten lazy, but um, he doesn't need any livestock around him. Great dog with one problem. So we love you guys. If you liked anything about this video, if you wanna see some more about it, some more about the quail, but we went from here on our property, we had about, was that 50, 75? Probably about 75 or 80 quail here, somewhere in there. I'd have to do the math. We're down to, what do we say, 15, 16 here, and there was seven over there. So we're down to about 23 or so now, all in a matter of, a three week span, but two hits. And that wipes you out, that takes it out of you when um, when something like that happens. Um, we've learned from that. Uh, love you guys, have a good night. Come back and see us, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and leave us a comment. Tell me if you've ever had problems like this before. That really helps us, helps us uh, as far as YouTube goes. 
We appreciate it, guys. We'll see you later. Y'all have a good one.